Okay, Jammu and Kashmir is hosting the third tourism working group meeting of the G20 countries in Srinagar from today amid tight security. This is the first such international event in the region after the center revoked Jammu and Kashmir's special status and stripped it of its statehood back in August 2019. But a glittering facelift has been given to parts of Srinagar and the roads leading to Sheri Kashmir International Convention Center, the venue for the G20 meeting, have been decked up. India is halfway through its G20 presidency and so far about 118 meetings have been held across the country. Around 60 delegates from the member countries of G20 are attending the meeting today and officials say the highest number of delegates for this Srinagar event are actually coming from Singapore. There are also delegates from special invitee guest countries who are expected to attend this meeting. Now, my colleague Nazir Masoodi has been tracking all the latest developments for us on Ground Zero. Nazir, now China has opposed the holding of a G20 meeting in Kashmir, while Saudi Arabia and Turkey will not be attending the meeting as well? Uh, that's uh, what China has made its position very clear that they are by court this meeting and they have raked up the what quote unquote Kashmir disputed status. But India has clearly rejected this. Let's say Kashmir is and was and will remain integral part of country and they are free to hold any meetings here. And But nevertheless, this is a meeting which now the organizers say is has received the highest participation of delegations so far. This is the third, you know, G20 tourism working group meeting in India. Earlier two have been held at uh, uh, one in uh, Gujarat and, uh, and second in Siliguri. But here this has evoked massive, you know, response and, uh, you know, interest in the media and everybody diplomatic circles though this is that there have been already 118 meetings of the g20 in india and as the um, uh, you know g20 chief coordinator uh, mr harshvardhan shingla said that uh, we india is halfway through its presidency of g20 and it has already held 118 meetings but this is certainly special in a sense that this meeting is being held post, uh, you know, abrogation of JNK special status and Jammu and Kashmir is now a union territory. Besides, you know, massive security arrangements which are in, uh, put in place, there has been a huge facelift of parts of Srinagar city. You know, uh, you know, Jalim riverfront has been beautified. There has been, uh, you know, there's there's markets which have been given the facelift. Uh, so lots of things happening besides the security, but security in Kashmir when it comes to Kashmir, but in the wake of inputs about militants may try to carry out the at attack. So security is on all-time all high alert. There are marine commandos, there are spy na national security guards, army, BSF, CRPF, SSB, and of course, Jammu and Kashmir police on the ground here to ensure that nothing goes wrong. Not only in Srinagar city, but also along the border, along the line of control. In fact, an army yesterday opened speculative firing after they observed some suspicious movement along the line of control in Mainder sector in Poch. So from Poch to Jammu to North Kashmir's border areas, everywhere search by big country to ensure nothing goes wrong. And today, this meeting will formally, see day meeting will formally start at around 3 p.m. at Sherry Kashmir International Convention Center. And all the leads, uh, roads leading to that have been beautified besides massive security structure on place. So very, very interesting, you know, the three days in the valley where there have been 118, you know, events, you know, meetings of G20 so far across the country. But the most interest so far, one meeting has generated is the meeting which will be held, which is which will start in Srinagar today.